Hey friends, welcome to today's video. I'm so excited about today's video because I've been playing with new makeup and I'm personally really excited about this new makeup. I'm gonna be sharing the new Nikki LaRose and Girlactic collaboration. I've got my little card here that came with it. Nikki LaRose is one of my favorite makeup artists to follow on social media. She is a former MAC artist just like myself. She is a natural educator and teacher of makeup. She's super talented, but she's also really great at connecting with her audience and educating them in making her tips like practical and wearable for like the everyday woman. If you don't already follow her, you will be obsessed. You will love her. She is just incredible. So she did a collaboration with Girlactic and I'm using a lot of the products today. I'm also uh, applying and swatching the new six BK Beauty Luxe Lipstick Shade Extensions that we just launched today. They are available now. We launched six new shades and I'm wearing one of them and they're just fun pops of color. When we launched our original lipstick shades, they were all like really neutral nudes, different very of neutral nudes. I've been working on this for a long time. I won't go into it. I actually talk about it later in the video, but super excited about that. I ha will have all the shades that I swatch listed for you in the description box so you can know like, oh, I liked that color she tried on. And before we get started, I also wanted to mention, because I've had so many questions, we are restocking. The entire BK Beauty store will be restocked in just a couple of weeks. We had our Mother's Day sale around Mother's Day and we were out of stock of a lot. Then we had a restock happen about a week later of some of the items and we are restocking every everything in just a couple weeks. And as a reminder, anything that has been out of stock since the Mother's Day sale, when it does restock, it will be 20% off for a few days, limited time, so that you can take advantage of that since you couldn't during the Mother's Day sale. So keep an eye out. I appreciate your patience so, so much. I think that has been our biggest like struggle is inventory management and just like keeping up with demand and really projecting what that demand is. So it's a good problem to have, but we appreciate your patience and don't worry, everything will be restocked very, very soon. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and get into this video. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't have anything on my face except my normal skincare and my tinted SPF. Today I'm going in with the Danessa Myricks uh, Blurring Balm. Is that the name of this? Blurring Balm Powder. I love this foundation, particularly if you are oily skin type. This has a, an ingredient called Upsolite in it, which helps you mattify the skin and it also controls oil production throughout the day. So it's really good on the days that you wanna really matte like flawless finish. My skin's been on the drier side lately, but it's starting to heat up here in Austin. So I'm gonna start reaching for foundations like this more often just to control my shine throughout the day. I'm going in with the BK Beauty 106 brush and I'm gonna start pressing the brush into the skin. When you go into the product with the brush, you're going to pick up a little less product than like if you were to use, I think there's like a little spatula here, like use a spatula and apply it to the skin. Pressing is gonna help you get the most product off your brush and onto the skin. What I love about this foundation, by the way, I'm shade four, is is that it's very lightweight. It feels very lightweight on the skin and it is pretty impressive when it comes to a matte all day wear. It is pretty impressive. If you have oily skin, you will love this. Now, if you have dry, dry skin, probably not the best one for you, but if you like a matte finish, I'd recommend giving it a try. This shade is like the perfect match for me. I also have this in the shade six that I use for a bronzer sometimes. It's very warm. It almost has kind of like a warm orange tone to it, but it's really beautiful for a bronzer. Next, we're going in with concealer and I'm using the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer and I'm using the shade Cream Chamois. I might be pronouncing that wrong. It's CN40. Um, this is slightly a little bit lighter if I recall correctly. Yeah, just a slight lighter shade. So it's gonna really kind of brighten underneath the eyes. I'm gonna apply it in the normal areas that I apply the concealer, and then I'm actually gonna kind of pull a little bit of it down. I kind of left the foundation a little more sheer there because I knew I wanted to go in with concealer. I kind of want this real bright look today. Not necessarily contouring the face, but I do wanna create more definition by adding some brightness right here in the center of the face. Not a lot, I'm not layering a ton of concealer. I'm just doing a little bit. And I'm gonna go in with the BK Beauty 110 brush, and I'm gonna just blend this out by pressing the brush to the skin. This brush works so quickly to blend out concealer. It is basically like a brush and a sponge had a baby and it was the 110. It gives you all the benefits of a sponge in terms of like quickness and blending out and really kind of, you know, melding it into the skin, but it doesn't absorb all your product like a sponge will. You still get the same kind of finish, but 
you don't have to go through as much product. Okay, so do you see I have a little bit of brightness now underneath the eye? Just a little. Next, we're gonna go in and create the brow, and I'm using my normal Charlotte Tilbury Brow Definer that I love in medium brown. Actually, this is called Brow Lift. I'm gonna comb the hairs up, but I am gonna use a new brow gel that I'm excited to share with you. I've actually been using it the last week or so, but I haven't used it on a YouTube video yet. It's from Revita Lash, and it's a tinted brow serum, but I'm gonna create the shape first with this pencil. If you don't already follow Nikki LaRose, which I'm sure a lot of you do, I have become such a fangirl of hers over the last year. I want to say I discovered her a year ago, but that's not true. I have remember watching her in on the videos on Mixed Makeup's makeup channel, I feel like years ago. She is Susan Yara's makeup artist, and so Susan would always have her in her videos. And I just loved how much of a natural teacher she was when it came to makeup. She just broke things down in a very simple way. And I'm going to say this, she, uh, Nikki used to work for Matt just like I used to work for Mac. And did painted by Spencer work for Mac too? I think he did also. Um, maybe I'm making up rumors. I don't know. But I feel like if you worked and trained at Mac, I see a lot of the same training and techniques that we learned at Mac in these makeup artists. They're very artistic, but they make their tips very practical and easy to understand and applicable to like the everyday woman. And so I love that about her. But she started her own channel a while back and I have just loved following her and seeing all of her growth. She's such a delight. Like you just, she's She's like so sweet. She has this very sweet demeanor to her and she's super talented as a makeup artist and very passionate about makeup. I actually got to meet her in LA. Um, I had Paul and I had dinner with her and her husband and she's just like the real deal. You know what I mean? Like what you see online is exactly how she is in real life. So if you don't already follow her, I'm gonna have her channel linked down below for you to go follow her, say hello. I promise you will you will get hooked on her channel. She has like videos that are really long sometimes and they're so educational. I feel like it's being at like a Mac uh, masterclass. So we're just going to create that brow. I need to get my brows done. If you can believe it, I have not had my brows done or shaped in I don't know, it's probably been six months. My brows don't really grow, so I'm not, that's that's an appointment that fortunately I don't have to maintain every six weeks like some people do, but I think I've let them go a little too long and I could go and clean them up a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this brow gel from Revita Lash. It's the High Def Brow Gel in the shade Soft Brown. So the idea with this brow gel is it's tinted so you can wear it as makeup, but it has ingredients in it to help enhance your brow growth and, you know, kind of similar to the Lash Serum, but for the brows. Okay, let's go in and warm up the face. I'm gonna use the NARS Cream Bronzer in the shade Laguna, and I'm gonna go in, what brush are we gonna use? You know, I'm gonna use the same brush I used for my foundation, the BK Beauty 106. I tuck my hair behind my ears. So I got a comment on one of my videos recently. It said, she's so beautiful, but I can't stop laughing at her ears. <laughs> and I was like, thanks. And now of course, that's like all I'm noticing in my videos is my ears. But you know what, I don't care. I like my ears, my ears are cute. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna add a little bronzer to the side of my nose. All right, so now we have warmed up the skin, created some definition. Let's go ahead and, you know what? We're gonna apply some blush and then we're gonna hop over to eyes. So I'm gonna use the blush from Kira Weiss. This is the cream blush. And the only complaint I have about this, I love this formula by the way, and I love this, is that the shade is at the bottom of the pan and I can't see the shade. So I will pop this out and I will list the shade in the description box down below, but I'm not sure what the shade is, but it will be listed in the description box. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add some color to the cheeks. This is a really bright corally shade. It's got a little bit of pearlescent to it. But what I love about this blush formula is it's very sheer and buildable. So even though this color looks pretty bright, and loud, it doesn't go on the skin that way unless you want it to and then you can really build it. But I'm gonna keep it kind of soft and light. I might go out back and add more after we have the rest of my makeup on, but I think I'm gonna play up the eyes today. So I wanna keep the cheeks more on the softer side. What I love about using a pearlescent cream blush is I'm using a matte, a very matte foundation. So this is gonna kind of give a little bit of life and glow to my skin in all the right places. Instead of having shine and glow all over the face, I'm gonna have it right where I want it. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the eyes. I am gonna prep the eyes and I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna put the MAC Paint Pot away and I'm gonna work with this palette from Makeup by Mario. This is the Master Eye Prep and Set. And I'm just gonna go in with the lightest shade and I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna mix, it. I'm actually gonna mix both shades in because the lightest shade looks too light. I'm just gonna use my finger and we're just gonna apply this onto the eyelid and we're gonna go all the way up to the brow. Perfect. All right, and then I'm gonna take the powder that's in this palette and we're gonna set that eye primer. So we're just gonna take that light powder and we're gonna dust it all over the eye 
from the lid to the brow from the lash line, I should say, to the brow. Okay, so let's go into this palette. I'm super excited to try this brand. Surprisingly, I don't think I've tried Girlactic, which is crazy because I hear them talked about a fair amount. So I'm excited to try this. And if Nikki recommends it, I'm sure I'm going to love it. So this is what the palette looks like. It has two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 10, 12 shades. They are very beautiful, very neutral, but you still have some fun color like this cranberry, this really beautiful, kind of looks like a multi-chrome color called Twinkle which has a little bit of pearl less. It's like, here, is that gonna focus? I think it's gonna focus, let's try this. Okay, it's really pretty pearl, kind of duochrome color. You've got some deep shades for darkening the outer corner or lining the eyes. You've got some really classic, like rich, warm brown. So this is actually very stunning. You've got all your matte shades on the bottom and then you've got your shimmer shades on top. So I love that, half matte, half shimmer. Let's go in and start with the crease, creating some definition. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Skin. It's a kind of warm brown shade, a few shades deeper than my skin tone. And I'm gonna work this into my crease. And this is just gonna create that definition for my eyes. I woke up a little puffy today. Allergies for me right now are terrible, so that is a contributor. All the sugar I ate last night is also a contributor. And I'm just gonna blend that back and forth into my crease. And then I'm gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna connect it down to my lash line. Perfect. Okay, so now I've got that in my crease, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring this color a little further over on the lid. It's such a pretty, pretty color, and it's really complementary to my green eyes. So I'm gonna kind of, I wanna see more of that shade on my lid. I'm keeping the inner corner of my lid bare though, because I am gonna go in with one of the shimmer shades to kind of pop that part of the eye out. Okay, that's beautiful. These shadows have really great pigment, but they're not too hard to blend or they're not too pigmented. They're just perfect. They're very buildable. They layer very well. You can layer them and build the color up. Like you can get a sheer wash, but or you can get really intense color, but you have the option to build, which I really like. Sometimes when shadows are super pigmented, they go on just really intense and there's not that option to get a soft wash. You can get that with these. Next, we're gonna go in and we're gonna add a little more color on the outer um, part of the lid to deepen that. And I'm gonna go into this shade right here, Bordeaux. It's a really pretty, what would you call this? Kind of like a pinky plummy shade. And we are gonna take um, a smaller crease brush, this size, it's a 211 by BK Beauty. So to help you kind of compare, I started out with the 202, which is larger, but now since I'm working with a darker color, I want a smaller brush. I'm gonna go in with this shade and we're just gonna kind of layer this right on the outer corner and kind of blend it into that first color we did. This color also is very complementary to green eyes, both anything with orange or with red in it or purple because red is the primary color that's used to make orange and it's used to make purple and red is what's Complimentary to green. Oh, that's beautiful. I love this brush. It's so great at applying color precisely because of its size, but it has a nice like fluffy tip so you can still get a really beautiful blend. It's not stiff at all. It really helps you get that perfect concentrated color that's soft still. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, next we're gonna go in and we're gonna go ahead and brighten the inner part of the lid. And I'm gonna go in, we're gonna go in with the shade right here, Lace. It's the lightest shade in the palette. Let's see if a brush works or if I, my finger is gonna be a better option. Let's try. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my finger. Typically fingers work, oh yeah, this is beautiful. Ooh, this almost feels like it has a creamy texture to it. Okay, this does this have a creamy texture to it? It is creamier. Oh my gosh, okay, all of these shimmers actually have a creamy texture to them. I should have read up. Let me let me go and read about this eyeshadow real quick so I am a little more educated speaking on it. It feels like a cream. Okay, so here's what it says on the website. Colors ranging from soft tone hues to smoky nude mattes along with shimmering browns and berries in a sparkly cream topper. They are long wearing and work well with cream products and can be applied wet. So a sparkly cream topper. Okay, so they are cream. So yeah, your finger's gonna be your best bet. I'm gonna go in with my finger and I'm just gonna apply, oh my gosh, this is stunning. Do you see that? Do you see the difference with using your finger versus a brush? Yeah, that works really well. And just kind of patting your finger down versus like swiping or smudging, that's how you're gonna get the most intense payoff. If you want a more sheer payoff with your finger, then you can kind of pull or swipe it, but 
We want like really opaque. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, it's very apparent now that these are cream. Once you get in there and kind of warm them up with your finger, they're very creamy. Stunning. Okay, that is gorgeous. So pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna kind of sheer out because I feel like I put a little too much. Look at these colors. This particular one is so beautiful. I think I'm gonna try and use that on my lower lash liner as eyeliner. I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, for that, I am gonna need a brush, but the brush I'm gonna use is very dense. Um, I'm using the 210 by BK Beauty, so I'm just gonna really like load that up, and we're gonna use this as liner on my lower lashes. Oh my gosh, that's so rich. Okay, I got a little too much, so I'm gonna kind of spread it out on both eyes. <gasps> wow. Okay, this is the most gorgeous shade. <gasps> and if you want a smoky, like a bronze smoky, liner on the lower lash line this one is beautiful i picked up too much um so i just applied it with that but i'm going to take a clean larger brush just to soften it and also kind of pick up any excess that i applied oh my god that is so <gasps> wow okay that is so beautiful wow okay next i'm going to take the first brush that i used and we're just gonna kind of blend inward a bit. Since I have such a light color in the inner corner, I want to kind of soften the transition between that color and the other colors I have on the outer half. Let's see what we have next. Let me clean my hands off so I don't get my white shirt all dirty. All right, I wanna play with more of this collaboration. So let's go in with... I'm gonna use the eyeliner. So it comes with a precise eyeliner and we're just gonna do a really thin little line on the lashes. I kinda wanna leave this look without liner, but I do wanna try this liner. So I'm just gonna do a very, very, very thin little line right at my lashes. I don't even think I'm gonna do a wing. I think I'm just gonna create a really thin line. Lovely. All right, and I didn't play with this, but I do want to share the shadow stick it comes with. You know, I'm a huge fan of shadow sticks. This is a matte shadow stick, so there's no shimmer to it, and it's a really creamy formula. The color is kind of like a rich, warm brown. I'd say about a medium tone, not super dark. I see this being really beautiful as shadow all over the lid. It's very creamy, so you have time to kind of blend it out or sheer it out. So pretty, look at that. So I would probably wear this on my lid alone and just blend it all out for like an easy one and done color. Really nice. Okay, you guys, let's go into mascara. I'm gonna curl my lashes, and there was a mascara that launched with this collection, so we are going to use that. Now there's two sides to this mascara. There's a lengthening and a detailing. So let's check that out. Okay, so first we have the side with lengthening, which is kind of your typical standard mascara wand. Now let's see what this detailing is all about. Ooh, okay, so it's a smaller wand. Well, I should say it's smaller in like the length of the wand. And the actual brush is smaller too, but it's not super, super tiny. But the teeth are a little smaller, so you can probably detail and separate out the lashes. I am gonna apply my lash primer because I always do that, regardless of what mascara I'm using. So let's go ahead and and layer the lash primer. I use the Dior Maximizer Lash Primer. If you're new to my channel, if you are not new to my channel, you know this already. I love this product. It's really great at building the lashes before mascara and it actually conditions the lashes so it helps improve your lashes over time of continued use. I sound like an advertisement. I promise I'm not. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna just build, build, build. And you know what? I forgot to do the little hack that I have been loving, which is apply one lash and then apply mascara and then go and apply the other. I find this works best when it's really wet. Okay, we're gonna go in first with the lengthening mascara. Okay, getting some nice volume. Well, actually, I'm getting more length. I'm, 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 of course, I'm getting volume. I mean, it's making my lashes thicker than they naturally are, but I can tell this is really more of a lengthening mascara. Very great at separating the lashes as well. Really pretty. Ooh, so you can build and build and it's not getting clumpy at all. Do the other side. Ooh, that's really pretty. Very, very pretty lengthening, separating lashes. I'm gonna add a little more. So the great little hack with mascara, if you want like volume and length and you're working with a mascara that's more of a lengthening or more of a voluming mascara, do a nice layer and kind of let it sit for a second and then come back to it. Once that mascara had time to set a little bit and it's not so wet, you can really build on top of it to get more volume. If it's not like a formula that's super volumized. Okay, this is really beautiful. Nice separated long lashes. I love that. I'm gonna go in with the detailing side for the 
lower lash line. I really appreciate that having a side that's like great for smaller areas, lower lash line being one of them. Clinique has a mascara that's specifically for lower lashes and I love that. I'm gonna just kind of lightly coat those lower lashes and then I'm gonna go, I'm actually gonna go back and see what this does to the upper lashes. This is a pretty unique formula. Like it's very, very good at lengthening and separating, which is nice because when you've done some eyeshadow work like I've done, it doesn't kind of overpower that. You know, sometimes when you do lots of color or pretty shadow and then you go in with a mascara that's super, super thick or volumizing, it kind of distracts from seeing the work that you've done on your eyeshadow. And I feel like I still get really long lashes, but you can still see the shadow really nicely. Lovely. Okay, you guys, well, I am a fan. I'm a fan of the Nikki LaRose and Galactic collab. I knew I would be, I love her. Everything she recommends, I love. Like I will text her on the side and be like, okay, what do you think about this? Or I'm actually gonna text her today because I need to know, basically I need to restock my makeup kit because I'm gonna be doing more makeup on my channel. And I know what my favorite foundation is for my kit, but it's been a long time, you guys, since I've been a working makeup artist. And so I'm gonna ask her what re foundation she recommends having in your kit that maybe I don't know about. All right, you guys, let's get in and and let's talk about these BK Beauty lipsticks. Yay! So excited about this, you guys. You know we launched lipsticks, it's been a while. We launched with our original collection and they were all pretty, like really beautiful nudes, different variation of nudes. Some warmer peach and ginger shades, some pinker, some cool, some warm. So I really wanted to expand the collection and have more color. So of the six, I would say, pretty much all of them except one are colorful shades, classic, you know, spins on a red lip. We also have a shade here that is like the perfect coral summer red. I just love that. Even though I don't wear these shades much myself, when I do wear them, I'm like, why don't I wear these shades more often? They look so, so good. Before we get into swatching and applying these lipsticks, let's talk about the details. So these new six shades are available today on bkbeauty.com. That's the only place you can find them, you guys. I don't recommend buying off of Poshmark or Amazon or anywhere else you find them. Those are not sold by us and we can't guarantee those products. That being said, these uh, lipsticks are $24 each, just like our standard lipsticks are. They will be on the standard lipstick side. I'm gonna link all this, so you don't have to worry about this. Everything will be in the description box below. But yeah, they're just basically six new shades of our lipstick formula. We're gonna go in first with the lightest shade because it's easier just to kind of go from light to dark. This is the shade Grace. This is the one nude in the new shade extensions. Um, we also made a video of myself applying it. And then also uh, Tanya, who is a creator on TikTok and Instagram and on YouTube. I will link all of her handles down below too. She came into our office. She's a deeper skin tone. And so we put the two of them on so you could see how the shades look on someone of my skin tone and then someone with darker skin. This is what it is. It's a really beautiful, like pinky beige nude. So we'll apply this all over the lips. Let's go ahead and take off what I have on my lips. Let me grab a makeup remover. I just had a little clear gloss, but I'm not gonna apply any liner with this because I just want you to see what the color looks like true to itself. As always, you can manipulate and change the color of any lipstick, not just these with a lip liner. Now this is definitely more of a cool tone nude. So if you wanted to warm it up, you could use a warmer lip pencil, something like Warm Spice from BK Beauty would be really nice with this. And with this particular lipstick, it's just that really soft, pale, pinky beige shade. I think it's beautiful. This one I would pair with a lip pencil, something nude, something neutral, just really pretty soft, soft pinky beige nude. So this is Grace. Next up we have Beauty. And I would say Grace and Beauty are probably gonna be the two that I wear the most frequently. This is a pretty like poppy medium rose pink. I love this shade. It just makes me happy when I put it on. It's more color like, and it's all preference, right? For me, I feel like this is a pop of color, but some of you may feel like this is not much color. This to me is like my version of kind of wearing color. It helps light the face up. So if you wanna do a softer makeup look, but you want something on the face to add some like life to the face. This is a really beautiful color. I think it's so pretty. You can deepen this up with like a deep plum lip pencil. So nice. I would wear this with like a neutral eye. Um, I think the color is nice and bold enough to keep a very simple eye makeup look, but I also think that it's not too bold. So if you do a dramatic smoky bronze eye, you could still wear this lip color and it wouldn't be competing. It's really pretty. It's just a fun pop of color. Okay, let's take this off. Now let's talk about the formula of our lipsticks. If you're not familiar with the formula of our lipsticks, they are kind of like a satin finish formula. So they're not matte, they're not drying and matte, but they're not really glossy either. They have a rich, they're richly pigmented, so you're gonna get a lot of color just with one swipe, but you can blot, like you can apply one layer, blot it and have a really soft diffused lip, or you can layer and get like fully rich opaqueness. Let's go on with the next shade. This shade is Gratitude. 
and this is a really beautiful berry shade. And this one is a little deceiving to me because when you look at it, it looks really deep, rich purple. But when you put it on the lips, it is definitely one of the ones that you can build more. So the first application is a lot lighter than it looks in the bullet. It's so pretty. It's a very cool pinky berry shade. So that's just one light, soft layer. Very natural, very soft, but you definitely see that berry coming through. I'm gonna layer it so you can see how rich this can get. There you go. Now you have more color, more pigment, more opaque, just a little more punch of color. All right, you guys, next we're gonna go in with that one shade I told you that is like the perfect coral summer red. It's called Empower. And I just felt like this name really is kind of the feeling that I take on when I wear a shade like this. I feel empowered. I feel like a boss. I feel like all the confidence from a lipstick color. It is a fiery orangey red. On some, it's gonna lean more coral and you would describe this as like a vibrant orange coral. On me, it leans more of a corally red. So let's apply this. I love an orangey red. You know, I just think that it's so flattering and so summery. And I think it looks good on all skin tones, all skin tones, very fair and very deep. Now this one's very pigmented and rich. This is basically one swipe. I mean, I did a couple just to get it even, but this is kind of one application. You don't really need to go in and build this. You just get rich. Look at that. Oh my God, I love this color. You guys need to force me to wear this. Like every time I put this on, I love it, but I always go back to the nudes for myself. I just love, love this color. I get so excited when I'm trying these on. We've been doing, um, you know, some marketing promotional material over the last couple weeks with these. And I've just, I get so excited every time I put them on. Because we submitted our PO for this so long ago, it's been so long. You know, we submitted our PO back in June. So all the work that went into the, of last year. So all the work that went into this was happening early last year. I'm talking like December, January, you know, February. And then we put the PO in and then we haven't really like touched them until we got samples. Well, actually no, we had already had samples and approvals and everything before June. So it's been that long since I've actually like played with the samples. It's been over, over a year. So it's been fun getting them in and kind of creating all this content and playing with them more. Okay, so next we're going in with the shade Confidence. And Confidence is basically like your classic kind of true red. It almost reminds me of that shade from MAC Dubonnet. You remember that shade Dubonnet? It was just like that red that looked good on everybody. The same thing going with Confidence. And I'm not putting any lip pencils with these, you guys, and I'm wearing red, which is kind of crazy. But you're able to get a, a nice application with the shape of the bullet. The shape of the bullet is slanted it does have a curved tip it's not pointed but you can use the edge of it to create a lip line just a true classic red and the last shade is faith and this is like a deep raspberry shade so pretty so those are the six new Lux lipstick shade extensions. They are available today on BK Beauty. I'll have them all listed and I'll have all the links to everything in the description box below. Well, they're all linking to the same site, but I'll have the shades listed down below in the order that I applied them in this video. Um, and I'll also have everything linked to Nikki and Girlactic collaboration and all the other products that I used, you can find in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I will see you in my next one.